Hello everyone and welcome to 100 Kubernetes Tools Day 2. And today we're looking at the Kubernetes extension for VS Code. As always, I'm not going to just jump into the tool and all the nitty gritty details. I'm going to first start off by telling you why you should actually use the extension for VS Code and what it's going to give you in life. So if you're anything like me, then between one and 20 times a day, you look at this screen and you pause and go, what the fuck? And I need to now know um, how to start putting in, let's say, a deployment. So something like core v1. To be honest, I don't really remember. And I don't remember exactly how to write out the details over here. And there's a whole lot of boilerplate. So I do what everyone does. I jump over to Google. And on Google, I search for uh, Kubernetes deployment example. Let's take this. And then I start scrolling down the page. And I start looking on here for a YAML file that I can use. And I think I missed it. It was up at the top. Let's see, V1. Yep, OK. And then I'm going to copy paste this. Thank you. Put that in. And now I'm going to start to change some things. And whenever I change this app label, I have to also remember to change it down here. So I'll change it there. I'll change it here as well. And then I'm good to go. And this is just fucking annoying. So instead, using the Kubernetes extension, I can do this. I can just write here Kubernetes deployment. It feels that I know for me. I can type out my app name. It updates in all the places. And I can hit tab. I go to the next thing I have to fill in. So my image, hit tab again, fill in the port, and I'm good to go. And this I absolutely love, and it saves me a ton of time every single day. Now, there are some other features here that I'll show you while we're here and looking at the extension. Specifically, um, I can open up, I can open up the Kubernetes tab, and then I can also see over here different stuff that's running in my cluster. So for example, I can open up the deployments and I can look here at my own baby, the Robusta Runner deployment, which I work on for monitoring your cluster. And I can look here at the different Helm repos. That's also super convenient. And I like it. And I like that I can look at individual versions. So all of that is useful. But to be honest, the one reason I use this is just the ability to take any Kubernetes resource, uh, persistent volumes, config maps, anything I like, and to just auto fill them in a split second. And that's the killer feature for me. So that's all for today. Let me know what tools you want to see covered in future videos. And if you're interested, then check out the video from yesterday as well, where we covered Scaffold and why everyone who develops and deploys in Kubernetes should use Scaffold or another tool like it. And have a wonderful weekend.